Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to an absolute beast of a new Vito bag, the Tech Pack Wheeler. I've been using this thing for the past couple of weeks. Not really packed out as much as I wanted to, but heavy enough for what I needed it for, a couple of different jobs and stuff, and the wheels really do make a difference. On the back, there are some shoulder straps. I'll spin it around in a sec, but I'll spin it around now for you. There are some shoulder straps on the back, and we'll, I'll bring the camera in and show you that. There are uh, a couple of different other ways you can carry it. You can only just carry it by the handle itself, just like that. It's a bit of a telescopic handle for wheeling, so if you just slide that down, you can just carry it like that. By your side, whatever, and then there's also the little handle underneath here, which is obviously makes it easier for just like kind of throwing up onto a, a bench <laughs> like I just have done, or like if you're, uh, you know, throwing it around on site or anything just i don't know you've got sharp things sticking out of it or whatever screwdriver and stuff you've got two dedicated handles just to maneuver the thing about i'll bring the camera in a little bit closer we'll unzip it all and see what's inside now on the front it's pretty much exactly the same as the tech pack thing over there on the shelf uh front pocket as per usual they're just quite 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 deep quite wide um i use it for the super rod cable tongue for me up here similar pockets again you've got the velcro on the top and you've got a bit of stretchy stuff there for various bits and pieces you want to shove in there i mean you can see by the size of my hand what's going to fit inside there again cables charge cables charge cords that kind of thing that's perfect for that because you're just going to zip it up grab and go maybe even a torch inside we've got a slightly different setup to the usual tech pack the front part, the zip, the fit bit that zips off at the front, that's pretty much the same kind of style, same, same layout. We've got the magnet here and the, the kind of plastic mesh pocket on the top there. Obviously, we've got the birth certificates and some stickers and stuff. Um, I've just clipped these off before and shoved it back in. And in here, you can see it's showing you uh, the various different th add-ons and bits and pieces and all about and stuff like that. I've got some panels to show you later as well that clip inside. Five year warranty, zero downtime. Now they are talking on this piece here, they're talking about how to carry the thing. Because if you're hauling it up and down sites or with rope or anything like that, a, a hoist strap, it comes, well, you can buy an optional hoist strap that goes on the side here, these little, a lot little at all, the big D rings on the side. Um, and that's just all that's talking about, basically, just don't carry the bag with this. Inside the main part here, the main hanger, if you like, is they've got the V-swap system going on, which we've seen before in other models of Vito bags, which basically means it's completely customizable. So you can just Velcro out anything you like. These pockets, I'll spin it around here. You can see the what, what you get there. If I, can you see that? We've got the usual silica gel. I actually leave a few in there. Helps it stay nice and dry and stuff. But you can see down in there, the nice big deep pockets. It's kind of that that um, neoprene wetsuit type material in there, and then you've got these ones on top here. These ones that are a lot more sturdy. Like all this, all this is completely customizable. It completely comes out like that. There you, can, there you can see the kind of style of pockets you have. So you can probably you could fill that out with whatever tools you want, and then go hook it up somewhere wherever you're working. It's the same for the back here, it's the exact same. All these. Completely customizable. You can pull all these out, throw in whatever you need to. If you don't, you, like if you're using this for something other than hand tools, or anything, you can pull all these out. And even, even this will pull out. That's how customizable it is. All that will pull out. And you can put a different back in there or have no back whatsoever. I'll just quick show you how they all pop back in. Relatively easy. It's only Velcro holding everything in. There you go. Straight back in like that. You can see it's just nice and straight. Vertical as it should be. These pockets, like I said, pretty much... Oh, I've got another gel thing in the silica gel. Obviously, we've got the... The, uh, if I wheel it back a little bit, you've got the the clip on here. Where does that go? Up there, I think. That's obviously that acts as like a 
a little table of some kind. You can just throw a few bits and pieces, throw a demonstration here. Yeah, throw a couple of bits and pieces on there just to kind of work away. Uh, use it as a bit of a bench, that's certainly what I've done before. Uh, that's the front. I'm going to spin the thing around now. We'll have a look at the back and these shoulder straps. On the way around the back, you can see there's some more pockets here for various bits and pieces, like usually a torch or a flashlight or something. Those big D-rings I was talking to you about, there's an actual picture there. Can you see there's an actual image saying that's where you hoist it from? So, yeah, obviously they don't want you to hoist it up from the handle or anything like that, especially with the amount of weight this would be, uh, which you, if you once you've filled it all out with your tools. The usual belt loop we're used to seeing with Vito products now, there's one of these hooked up on the side, hanging off a smaller D-ring. Spin it right round again, and it's the exact same type thing. We've got a big pocket here, two there for pens, pencils, stuff like that. And let's just shove one. Demonstration reasons, just show you where it is. And obviously there's the usual tape measure clip. Now we've got the back here, which just opens up by basically just lifting this latch here. And then you've got the two absolutely chunky solid zips that Vito are quite synonymous with now, because they don't mess about when it comes to quality, obviously. If you follow Vito and their products, solid zips coming down and that'll fold right over like that. And then you've got very, oh, you've got another, another one of these. I think I'm collecting them. Uh, you've got a yeah, you've got some more storage in there, bigger storage at the bottom there. You can see uh, we've got some more pockets in here. We've got the the plastic type, and then in here you've got another pocket which is quite deep. It's pretty much the length of that all the way from the top. So that's quite a deep pocket. Papers and stuff like that, cables maybe couple of jump leads whatever usual neoprene pocket stuff going on up here again this pocket up here it's a bit deeper than the last one which was in that bag you can get the whole hand in there now that's nice i'll move the bag back a little bit and we'll have a look at these straps so it's two zips down velcro up and that opens this pocket here and here are the straps inside Let's pull them out there they are two of them that can velcro back up and you have a big chunky kind of clip there made obviously out of metal clip that to the bottom you can see on the d-ring and there's one on the other side there and you know that it's absolutely solid top quality from Vito and there's your shoulder straps there is actually in here which I've not really I've not used really and I've not kind of clipped up but you've got your it goes across there not that one, this one goes across there. You can see it's like it's like your chest, goes across your chest there. So obviously a bit of extra kind of security when you're hauling this thing around and it probably holds onto you, keeps it held onto your body a bit better as well. Weight of the thing. Uh, there's the straps, pretty solid, pretty, um, yeah, top quality stuff. Um, I'd, to be honest, I'd probably just wheel it around a bit more than, rather than straps, you pull them things up. The wheels are just there, just at the bottom. So I don't know, maybe if you've been hauling it through mud and fields and grass and all kinds of just whatever stuff like that. And then you're probably not wanting to just throw it straight onto your back, but whatever. I'm gonna put these straps away now and we'll have a look at some panels that go on the inside. The first panel I have to show you is this bulk storage panel. So it's, it's pretty basic. It's got like a flat kind of plasticky feel to it. It's like quite robust. A couple of D rings at the top here. It's full of, full of bits and pieces. I just dropped it on the shed floor. So it's gathered up all kinds of stuff, but the base here folds up. So you've got a kind of, you know, like a base basically. And on the back, you've got some Velcro to hold it in. So this back piece here all comes out in one. Give a quick pull of one of these D rings. A lot of Velcro tearing and it's just a case of popping that in there like so and then that's it in there like that so that's your bulk storage basically put the Velcro back on there that's your bulk storage back in case you don't you're not having any screwdrivers or anything like that so are you carrying a cordless drill 
that's going to fit straight in there maybe you want to carry two cordless drills i don't know if it is going to fit yeah so bulk storage obviously it's, it's a bit of protection for anything else that's going on in there you've got your dewalt laser level fit straight in there no problem that'll zip up you could probably even squeeze that over and get the cordless drill in there as well if you do have more bulkier tools this is perfect you know so you've got your hammers your drills your multi-tools whatever else great for the you know obviously for the back that back panel is great for that because it's not going to interfere too much once you've zipped it up imagine you had that in there there's just no way you're going to be fitting these kind of things in there so keep this for all like your hand tools type thing um i'm going to zip this one up and we'll spin the thing round and have a look at the next panel now we'll just put this last panel in here and you can see that it's based this one on more like computers laptops tablets ipads that kind of stuff so i've got a 12 year old laptop there fits fits in there no problem whatsoever i've got an ipad and that'll fit in the front pocket there and there's even a bit of room down at the bottom there if you can even see it where, right where my hand's going to go room for chargers chad cables and cords and various bits and pieces that you'd need with all this kind of equipment shove that back on there zip this up zip this up we're good to go i've removed the two panels just to have a look at what's going on inside at the bottom and veto typical they haven't missed a trick they haven't missed a nut a screw a washer a rivet a bolt or anything down here quality continues so we've got these two bars here and these are adding strength to the whole bag and this is obviously part of the it's an integral part of the caddy system what I call the, uh, what I technically call the pulley along system. You also have access to, if I tilt the bag up towards you there, you can visually see how the wheels are. They're going through the back of the bag there. And Vito have really thought about this. It's not just a bar going through two bits of plastic with nuts on the end and it's like, there you go, get, that's, that'll do. They've really thought that the people are going to load this out. So these wheels have bearings in them. They're not just plastic. They're kind of like a, a very, very, very tough rubber, you know, so it'll give a little bit if it gets dropped or kind of dragged along concrete and stuff. Um, yeah, what I intend to do now, I'm going to fill it, put the panels back in, fill it with tools, I'll throw it on the scales and see what it weighs. And there it is. So these are the tools I usually carry in the TPXL, which is just hanging about over here. And so this is like my daily carry, if you like. So various pliers and grips and stuff like that, cutters. You can see torch, screwdrivers and stuff, lock-offs, kits and all of this. And that's obviously because I'm an electrician. You could fill it with whatever you liked. I'm just giving you an example of what I use it for. We've got on the side here some scissors, fault stick, tape measure. And obviously the tool check plus sits lovely in there. Although mine's missing a few bits and pieces now. On the back, it's not too rammed. You can see we've got the voltage indicator. We've got a little... Uh, earth leakage tester there, hammer, socket tester here on the side, the old uh, bits box that I can't live without to be honest, fits perfectly in there, we've got some pens, markers, that kind of stuff, a mirror and all the rest of it, like I said I've not fully loaded it out but it's roughly there or thereabouts as to what I would, um, what I would drag on a job and expect to use daily. Now let's weigh it well, there you can see it swinging in the wind, hanging off a strap that I nicked from another bag because we obviously can't hoist it from here. But if we go up here, you can just see 35 pounds, about 16 kilograms. And that's just with my everyday carry. Now, one of the best and most obvious things about the wheeler, it's not just the wheels, also the handle. Push the button in on the top, the whole thing comes towards you. That enables you to wheel it around, obviously. Push the handle back, well, push the button back in and the handle collapses back into the bag as it was. So in summary, it is a beast of a bag, no doubt about that. It really does have the minerals. However, you'll need the minerals if you fill this to its capacity <laughs> because it does get quite heavy, as you can see. For me, this would be perfect if you're doing EICRs because you could just fill it with your test equipment, some hand tools, bits of paper in the front, an iPad, whatever stuff, something like that, and just go. That and a set of step ladders, away you go. Uh, testing, you've got your flashlights, torches, whatever hand tools to und undo accessories. You've got your meter and everything else inside at the back. Uh, and obviously, for in terms of moving the thing around, you can throw it on your back or wheel it around. 
I found myself wheeling it more than I thought I would because sometimes you get a bit lazy, just carry it, you just, but I would just drop it and wheel it. The wheels are so smooth and um, yeah, it's kind of a bit of a pleasure to wheel around. There's my review for the Tech Pack Wheeler. I'll leave a link in the description of this video to Epic Air's website where you can go ahead and find this. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye now.